I'm sorry for what's happening to the Lord. I'll take full responsibility. It's your fault. It's all your fault. That's what I want to say so badly. But you have tried your hardest to find out what happened and when you last saw her, all she had was a minor injury. I know you wouldn't have brushed her injuries to the side if you thought it would get this bad. After all, she looked fine yesterday. Oh, I told you that when she inevitably passes away, you'd need to be able to fight her battles. This seems like the perfect time to take my advice. You need to start going outside and communicating with the other villages. This is the best time to have a meeting with the other lords. Look, you are a very plain-spoken person. It's very inappropriate, especially at this time. You know the Lord would tell you the same. You need to start acting like the Lord. I asked the guards to start working around the village more so it'd be easier for you to take over. Respectfully? You had no place to do that. The guards were for me, not you. Look, I do agree that it'd be easier for the guards to be out and about instead of being with me all the time. They should have been making sure the villagers weren't getting into fights before today, though. They need to make sure no other leaders come here at this moment. If they do, they'll know we're weak and we can't put up much of a fight. If you want to be helpful, tell the guards to keep the Lord's current state on the low. We can't be attacked at this moment. Understood. Now, I need to see my mother, so leave. I... I really didn't want to see you since you are in a state. I can't bear to see you slowly pass away. Please forgive me. <laughs> I'm sorry. You asked me earlier that day to to come with you to the meeting. I should have gone with you. Don't feel bad for me, please. If you had gone with me, you would be in the same condition as me. I need to talk to you about something. Never would I have ever imagined that this day would come so soon. I hope you don't feel differently about me after I tell you this. I, I could never think of you differently. You are my mother. You raised me to be a great leader capable of taking care of this village. I, I know you didn't want this type of a life. Being the only person who could take it over an entire village when I die, you must have had a very stressful childhood because of it. What? Why are you bringing that up? Yeah. Sure, I did wish I could go outside like the other girls and talk to other girls my age about things, you know, other than business, but I understand why you didn't let me. You wanted to protect me. B. Yes? I do not know how to tell you this in a sensitive manner. I had not thought I'd ever have to tell you, but, but I feel guilty for not saying it now while I'm still alive. I'm not your biological mother. You are adopted. What? What, what are you talking about? I found you on the street in a, in a basket when you were about a month old and and I decided to take you in. I didn't want to tell you because I've always considered you to be my real daughter. And I didn't want to feel like your life was a lie. I'm... I'm not really... related to you? You are my real mother? I... 
I'll give you some time to think about this. I know this is very shocking and I don't want to force you to be okay with it. This is the first time I'm letting my daughter outside. <laughs> you have to be capable when I die, so I have no choice. I'll, I'll be off in the village. I'm sorry. I know this seems selfish now. But... I'm afraid that... If it continues like this... You won't know what to do when... When she comes back. She, she told me that and all I could do was stand there in shock. How could she do this to me? I understand why you're upset. She lied to you about being your real mother, but is that really why you were mad at her? What do you mean? I can smell your magic, remember? Your emotional state can affect the smell of your essence. Then, I guess you already know why I'm mad. Having been told that you weren't her true daughter as a child, would you have felt like you deserved to be the next leader if you had known it then? It seems like you would have always felt bad for not being her biological daughter. Maybe she just wanted you to not feel guilty about being adopted. It shouldn't have been something I'd have to discover this way. I would have felt bad for not being her real daughter, but... I deserve to know regardless. Not all the times I I pretended to be okay with the pressure of being the next lord. It hurts. I'm not even next in line to be the lord since we aren't even really related. All the talk of marrying a man I don't even love for this village. A village I am not even supposed to lead. Hey. You said you'd help me figure out what I am. I thought it was crazy at first, but maybe there is something different about me. We were going to break into the castle and take you with us, but you came here before we were about to leave. I am very sorry to hear about your mother. Oh... Um, thank you, I, I guess. This is the first time you were meeting most of us, and it's unfortunate that it's because of something like this. I, I, I'm really sorry about the other day. L look, everybody, it's really okay. I just, I don't really know what to do here. What do you guys usually do around here? You know, when the atmosphere isn't this well. <gasps> we are bandits. We steal from locals, rich people, and anyone who's dumb enough to leave their windows open at night. Well, first of all, you startled me, and secondly, don't bandits usually come armed? We can't just go around harming people. We are already not supposed to be seen by others. That would only draw attention to us. If we really need to, we will. It isn't a hard concept to grasp. You. Please don't argue now. Felix is here. Felix? She's so young. Stating the obvious, I see. You want to play a game with me? It might help lighten up the others. Um, sure. Have you ever played checkers? <laughs> yes. Um, my mother, I mean, the Lord taught me how to play when I was younger. She set up like a beater, she'd teach me how to play piano. Did you ever beat her? Well, I guess we'll see how well she taught you. <laughs> I lost 
again. It was an easy win. You were very good at checkers. A couple of your moves actually caught me off guard. Your mother taught you well. She's not my mother. Like it or not, she raised you. It's upsetting, but I feel you regret being this way. Maybe we just need to talk to her about what you feel. You said she found you on the street? Look, the last thing I want to do is talk to her about what I feel. She told me she found me on the street when I was like, what? A month old? Why didn't she tell me this sooner? If she really cared, she would have. I am not trying to defend her, but it isn't that simple. I'd want my parents to protect my feelings if I were in your situation, honestly. She did raise you, and that's more than your biological parents could say. I respect your viewpoint, but you're not me, and you're not in the same situation as me. Because she was so selfish and didn't care about my feelings, she couldn't even tell me I was adopted. No. This isn't about that, is it? There's a great deal of transparency in your feelings. The problem is that you don't do a good job at masking them. Mm. Once you become the Lord, it will become a, a weakness. This game is over. That's okay. The test was really helpful. Wait, this was the test? I thought it'd be very physical. You obviously don't know anything about fighting and that would be very useless. What does a game of checkers say about me and my abilities? It sounds ten times more useless to me. You have no idea. Anyways, you can leave now. I know what I need to now. Whatever. I should talk to Eric about what happened. Uh, you seriously don't know when to stop, do you? You were already making my life hell like I thought you would. Uh, I didn't mean to bump into you. Sorry. You're not going to argue with me? I'm... I'm... Busy. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Why does she look at him like that? Was it really helpful? No, and that's the frustrating thing. It always works. This has never happened before. Are you sure she has magic? Something must be wrong. How can I ever smell her magic yet I can't feel a thing? It really is an interesting case. What are we going to do about it? We might have to take some drastic measures. Lady Eva won't like that. Are you going to tell her? No. I'm very interested in finding out what's so special about her. After all, this is unheard of. I hope that you won't go too far like you did before. For now, I want you to try to learn more about her past. Wasn't she found on the street? There won't be much information about her to find. All it takes is one lead to make things easier. I'm very sorry to hear about what's happening with the Lord. You... You didn't call her my mother. It makes you uncomfortable, doesn't it? How did you know? The way you talked about it. I won't tell you to feel. Ultimately, it's all about making yourself happy. It won't make you happy to hold anger in your heart for someone. Be sure to think about what you really want, rather than what you feel at the moment. Hmm. Is something wrong? Your answers always sound very... carefully thought out. Like... You already knew what was going on? I can assure you I only know about what I heard. 
Your words are so perfect. Are they? I still think you're a little strange with your bandana and all. <laughs> you must want to look at my eyes a lot. Well, eye contact is only respectful when talking to someone. I am sorry to disappoint you, but I will not take it off. Mm. Mysterious. I'm not trying to be that way. I just... I bet your eyes are very pretty. They aren't as pretty as yours. I... Do you not like compliments? I... I I'm sorry for making you feel uncomfortable. Uh, no, 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 no. That's not it. I just... I've never been complimented on my eyes before. I'm the first to? Mm-hmm. You have really pretty eyes. <laughs> How could you talk to her? She must have tricked you into it. I excuse me? The fact that I was able to trick him would contradict my incompetence, wouldn't it? <laughs> You must think you are so funny. You brought your unnecessary drama here, and now we all have to deal with it. Why or how are we supposed to help you? I don't understand. Honestly, it's none of our business. You, you think I want to be here? There's been awkwardness between us all, all day. But if I didn't come on my own, you guys would have dragged me here. So there is no point in complaining about my presence. You have been making trouble for us since the first day you came here. Enough. Are you really going to defend her? I really don't understand your problem with her. She hasn't done anything wrong. Your problem with her seems very superficial. Whatever. Shouldn't you be going home now? I was planning to. I'll walk you there. What? You'll get there faster with me. Oh. So I'll be gone faster and I'll be less of a burden to you. Very in character of you. <sighs> Whatever. Let's go. That was odd wasn't like him at all. What is he thinking? We are finally here. It felt like hours. It took only 20 minutes to get here. Oh. <laughs> I know you don't like me, but thank you for walking me home. You are thinking me? You can go now. All right. Another? Oh. She's asleep. I should get her a new blanket. Huh? What's this? My thoughts. Is this her diary? 